All right, so with this two-step equation, like I was saying, in one-step equations, we were doing either addition, subtraction, or multiplication division. And here we're doing both. You see the addition, subtraction right here? This is the multiplication division. Both of these things are on the side of the equal sign with the variable. And we always want to start with the number that's not connected to the variable. The variable is in the fraction or the division part. So we're going to start with the 2. And if I'm adding or subtracting, what am I trying to get to? A 0. Remember this. Adding and subtracting, we want a 0. If we're multiplying or dividing, we want to get to a 1. Keep that in mind as we work through this, okay? How do I get a zero from this two? I want to do the opposite of adding two, and I'm going to subtract two from both sides. On the left side, six minus two is going to leave us with four. On the right side, I have a divided by four is still there, plus zero. Do you think we usually write the plus zero, though? No. I'm just doing that to show you all that we did this. Oftentimes, you'll see people do this just to make sure that they know that they canceled that out or they got that to be a zero. A divided by 4, my A looks terrible. I'm going to switch it to an X just because I like writing X is better. This is what I'm left with. And now I've got to get rid of this 4 underneath this x because I want that x by itself. It is division. What's the opposite of division? And we're trying to get to a... I have to think then, what's the reciprocal? Yep, it's 4 over 1. Okay. On the left side, I have 4 times 4 gives me 16. 1 times this invisible 1 gives me 1. On the right side, I have 4 times 4 and an x. This becomes an invisible 1. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off camera there. This is my invisible 1. What we would really write is just 16 equals x. We don't have to worry about these invisible ones, and these cancel each other out. You'll hear a lot of people say that. But it's not really canceling, it's turning it into an invisible one. And there is our answer. Let's try that together with number two. Oh good, the variable is already at x. So right away, it's slightly more difficult because we have negatives. Where am I looking to make a zero? With that negative 6, how am I going to make it a zero? The positive 6. Bring our equal sign down. What's left on the left side of the equal sign? Just the fraction. Because this became a zero. What's left on the right side? One. Negative five, positive six. One. We have the same reciprocal that we had last time, don't we? Because it's still the variable over four. So what are we going to multiply both sides by? 4 over 1. This 4 over 4 is going to become our invisible 1. That leaves us with our x. 1 times 4 is 4. Go ahead and try numbers 3 and 4, and we'll come back together in a moment.